Hey, 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 hey. Holy cow. He fi they finally let all the gas out of Marty. He let it all rip today. Over an hour. Good Lord. <laughs> Funny stuff there. Good live from uh, Red today. Good live from Marty today. I call Marty's... I call Marty's lives a movie because <laughs> it just keeps going and going. All right, what's happening, guys? I would like to apologize for being late, but I don't know. I don't have to. I think you know why, and that's okay. I appreciate you guys waiting. M. Kelly was the first one on here today. Let me tell you what's going on tonight. Tonight at uh, 9 o'clock, Friday Night Live with Lynn Nakamoto and Ron Hoover. Check it out. They're going to be talking about AI Something that I started talking about last or this past Monday, uh, changed it up a little bit, and I think it, it. I think a lot of people tuned into it and connected with it. Like I said, they're going to talk about it on Friday Night Live. I'm excited about that, uh, and I kind of want to just do things different every day. Let me tell you what else is happening because I forgot about this one yesterday. There's going to be a meet and greet uh, for Engineer Mike. That's in the back office under updates. That's in September. 10th, I believe. And then tomorrow, if I find it right, there is one in uh, Passive Asia Pacific for uh, Singapore. And that also is, I don't know if that one's posted in the back office or under webinars yet. If not, I'll get it in there. I'm just having a hard time posting pictures. So that's tomorrow, August 27th. And I believe it's at uh, 8.30 a.m. to 12 noon. Now, I don't know if that's their time or it's at nighttime. I have to figure that out. But Check the back office. I'm sure it'll be put in there. Uh, what do I want to talk about today? I put algorithms and wiggle, wiggle. You guys know that song, wiggle, wiggle. They do all the dance for all that. I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to still finish this week out on uh, talking about AI. Now, once again, I am not a tech guy. We have our own tech, uh, the tech pros. I've been trying to just bring you to the attention of what AI is, what it's about, where we're at with it. Just a lot of cool stuff. Now, I did share that YouTube video of that story I told yesterday. It's actually the whole movie of it. I actually watched it again. I found it so interesting. But it's on my Facebook. Scroll down a few. You'll see it. And uh, it's pretty cool. If you got if you got an hour, hour and a half, uh, or, you know, break it up, go watch it. You'll see the actual story that I was telling you happened in real life in 2016. Pretty cool. All right, let me jump around here. I wanted to talk about uh, algorithms. A lot of people say, what is an algorithm? And I don't want to bore you. And I'm going to be quick about this because Marty like took an hour. So I don't want to take an hour. Uh, what is an algorithm? An algorithm is a procedure used for solving a problem or performing a computation. Algorithm, algorithm, uh, my voice. Algorithm act as an exact list of instructions that conduct specified actions step by step in either hardware or software. It's an important thing. Who uses algorithms? I can't even say the dang word today. All right, YouTube, TikTok, okay? They use that stuff. What types of algorithms are there? Now, this is pretty interesting. I gave you types of AI, which there's a lot. And there's, let me just read a few off, and I don't, I don't wanna bore you. I just want you to understand some of these things. There's the, the the old tech guys will probably talk more about it. I'm gonna I'm I'm the warm up guy for you for the show tonight. You got search engine algorithm, encryption algorithm, greedy algorithm. I want to this algorithm solves optimized problems by finding the locally solution. Pretty cool, a greedy algorithm. Wow, that scares me. Recursive algorithm, backtracking, divide and conquer algorithm, d dynamic. Now brute force sorting algorithm, hashing. Many, many, many algorithms that, that are connected to AI. That's pretty much what it is. It's kind of a cool word if you can say it right, not like me. But here's all I've been doing. i just been going in and, and today I'm like, our algorithm. What can I learn about algorithm? So all I do is Google it. I'm not a professional. I'm just maybe uh, calling it out for some people that maybe are working or a lot more busier than I am. I'm just trying. My basis here is not to explain to you what AI is, but what it's used for and how it's been used for a long time. I mean, there's really not much that you don't touch or see that is part of AI. Everything is part of AI. And that's what I keep trying to explain to people. 
When I first got in this, I knew a lot about AI, nothing like I know now, which is really cool. It's such a powerful thing. And here we got this company called Abasm that's 100% AI, all right? It throws every kind of AI, every kind of algorithm into the system. And by the, I mean, look at YouTube and TikTok. Actually, TikTok's got the best AI from what I was read. Who would have thunk? Who would have thought that YouTube and TikTok are AI? You didn't think of it, I guarantee you that. You just thought, oh, here's a funny video I wanna watch. Understand this, guys. AI is 100% part of the internet. And passive is 100% AI. What does that tell you? Where it's going, okay? You have companies that do this here, this here. They do one product. They do one, you know one thing here. We have it all is what I'm trying to tell you. Don't, listen, there's no negative about this. Even though people talk negative about it, there's no negative about this. It's 100% positive. Every which way I look, I had a guy today. Hey, Mr. Chris, when are we launching? Hey, we're, we're launching now, brothers. We're launching now, sisters. You just don't know it. If you want to go see a rocket launch, I think in a couple weeks, I just talked to Key Window. They're going to shoot a rocket into space. Guess what that rocket is part of? Artificial intelligence. The automated car that's driving down the road or the truck. No driver. AI. Automatic. Artificial intelligence, everything that we do. Uh, like I said, in the future, artificial intelligence is going to help our doctors help out with our health. All right. Oh, I can't take this call right now. These guys are boneheads. Hold on. I'm doing a live. I'll come back. Hello. Bye. <laughs> That's Marty and the gang. See, they got no respect. They don't call me, come on my lives and watch me. So. Uh, that's what I'm saying, guys. Artificial, and this is my week. I did AI, and now everyone wants to talk about which I'm glad. Call me the trendsetter. I'm kidding. We want you to understand everything about I'm passive. Me, personally, I just want you to understand one thing. It's all done for you. Marty actually came up with a saying, which I love. Not sure he, he quoted that. A business in a box, all done for you, hands free. All right, that, that says a lot right there, because that's what it is. But when you wrap it up with AI, when you wrap that box up with AI, bada bing, bada boom. I mean, think about it. I, I'm still blown away by it. I'm sitting here at my kitchen table. I'm talking about unpassing. I'm talking about AI. AI and when we launch to the world, I'm going to be probably out there swimming. Well, maybe, maybe skiing. I don't know by then. I think it's going to be a, a little while longer. But when it does happen, know this. You're going to be making residual income, breathable income. You're going to be making money. Understand this. How much? I can't tell you that. But I know, just for an example, if you made $100, $500, $1,000, that's a heck of a lot more than you made than what you're doing now, right? Nothing out there worked. The only thing that pays you now is that J-O-B, but you got to go there. I'm passive. I don't got to go anywhere where I, except where I want to go. There's a, There's a nice one. Go somewhere that you want to go, not to work. Every day, the same drive. Look how boring work is. Beep, beep, alarm goes off. Ugh, brush my teeth. Get dressed. Eat something. Get on the same car. Get on the same road. Urr, hi. Ooh, boring. Hey, there's the same tree. Hey, there's the same freeway I got out for 32 years. Wow, look, there's another accident. Hey, that car was sitting there. How freaking boring is that? Think about it. That's what a job does to you. It sucks the life out of you because you got to do the same flipping thing over and over and over and over. I don't want, I did repetitive work for my whole life. I don't want to see it anymore. The only thing I want to see is when I wake up and check my wall and say, dang, look at that. Woohoo. And I had to do nothing but stretch and get out of bed. And I woke up at three in the morning just to go to the bathroom. I might as well look at what's going on. Holy cow, I just made some more money going back to bed. How many of you want to say that every morning? How many of you wake up every morning to go to work at five, six o'clock in the morning? That stupid alarm is ring, 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 ring. Bah, 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 bah. It's saying, wake your ass up. You got to go to the job. How many of you just want to take that clock, shut it off, and go back to bed? 
I, I guarantee a lot of people you like that. Or, man, it's nice out there. I can go fishing today. Have the option. And passive is going to give you that option. Do you understand that? All I'm trying to do is get you excited about what you joined, whether it was a year ago, four years ago, and know that when it happens, ooh, man, the choices. Right now, think about it. What do you do on a daily basis that's your choice? I know driving to work ain't your choice. I know paying those bills ain't your choice. It's a vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle. Those bills and that job keep coming. They don't stop, right? You got to work to pay the bills. You pay the bills, you got to go to work. I owe, I owe, off to work I go. Change it. You did change it. All right? You changed it. So stay fired up. Artificial intelligence, look at it this way. It's a big, big vehicle. You know what? I did read this. I wanted to say it. Can you imagine 10, 15 years from now when all auto AI is literally everywhere? It's, 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 it's a percentage right now when it's everywhere. The database, the database that it's going to have throughout the world, there is nothing that you won't be able to learn or educate yourself on. Guess what? Oh, Academy. You get old like me and you're done working or you're retired or whatever. You want to do a hobby. You want to learn how to build birdhouses. You want to put a deck in the back of your house. You want to build an old car up. It's all going to be there to learn step by step. Artificial intelligence is going to help you. It's going to give you the best information. Why? Because it never sleeps. You look up pen. Artificial intelligence, look it up pen. It's going to tell you the ink, where it's from, the cartridge, the little clicky thing. It's going to know everything about it. And it probably, because AI is so dang huge, it'll probably teach you how to draw without you even knowing how to draw. That's artificial intelligence. I mean, is it worth it right now? How many of us have lost people to cancer? I know I did. I would say the majority of you have lost someone in your family or friends through cancer. Wouldn't AI be worth it? If it came up with a cure for cancer, like instantly, how much would you love AI then? Right? How much would you love AI if it could solve Parkinson's, Alzheimer's? Guess what? That's what's going to happen. Artificial intelligence. It's not going to be, it's going to be men and women helped. But as I showed you on that game yesterday, it made moves that they thought weren't humanly possible. The human brain never would have thought of. That's artificial intelligence at its finest. All right. It's going to find you ways to drive your car better. Educate. Be a better parent. It's going to give you so many options. Who gives us options anymore? Not only is artificial intelligence going to give us options, it's going to teach us a lot. See, artificial intelligence is, gonna, is the smartest thing ever that was ever created. But it was created by a man, a woman, kids, by putting their information into something. It studies it. Then it goes out to the whole world in milliseconds. Bah, 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 I got to find about the pen. I want to know about the pen. Where's the ink? What kind of ink? What's healthy? What's not? And it's going to teach you. All right? Don't, don't eat this. It's bad for you. It will cause cancer. Don't smell this. It will cause cancer. This is the kind of stuff AI we don't think about. What do we think about an AI? Hey, a self-driving car. Which... What you don't understand is self-driving cars, self-driving semi-trucks will save millions of lives a year, believe it or not. All right. So I thought about that. And the reason I say that is because the AI, the one company I've been studying, it's a truck company. The guy put the statistics, the statistics together about how many lives it would save. It would save thousands of lives. Why? People falling asleep at the wheel. People may be texting on their phone. People may be drinking and driving. All these factors have come into play in AI. And AI said, well, I know I don't drink because I'm a machine. Uh, I'm not looking at my phone because I don't got one. Uh, I'm not going to fall asleep because I never do. Think about just that. All right. Think about how many, Google how many people are killed by drunk drivers every year or by someone texting on their phone. You still think automatic cars is a bad idea, driving cars? 
I think it's a great idea. But you're going to still have that option to drive it or to have one of these self-driving cars. All right, think about that. Isn't lives, people's lives more important? Okay. Now, I heard a statement the other day. Someone said, it, it's, it's going to take jobs, folks. AI will take over jobs. But the jobs that it creates is going to be so much more. Like, not everyone is going to have a self-driving truck. Not everyone is going to have a self-driving car. All right. You're talking about like Uber. Uh, there is going to be pizza places probably delivering, and this is happening now, pizzas right to your front door with a drone. Artificial intelligence. It's going to make your life easier. All right. I say get on the Peloton. Don't get fat like me and start exercising now because AI is going to make your life so easy. Actually, go see the movie. What do I say? Wally. -E. It's a cartoon. Go check it out. Go check it out. It's really good. It's a, a cartoon made for kids, but it's really meant for adults. Wally, -E, I think it's called. Go check it out. That's what the world has turned into. Looking at a phone, looking at a computer. Okay. Oh, was that Sabias is saying something to me? He's, oh, Sabias is giving. Well, let me do Sabias's question. I forgot. Oh, he said, which runs on solar energy will be uh, integrated and Starlink satellites and can even work on Mars? This is, <laughs> he's giving the answers. Hold on. Which of the following is not the commonly used program language for artificial intelligence? Is it A, Perl, B, Java, Prolong, or LSIP? And I don't even know what the hell he's talking about, but it's a good question. I think he put that in his uh, his O network. Go check it out. See if you can answer that question. Ja uh, Sabias Jana, he's in here. But guys, Sabias, I think, is 25 or 26 years old. He is an educator. All right. What he's doing, he's helping me to learn about artificial intelligence. And I don't have a clue. All I do know is it's out there. All I know is something that Ash Bafar did say the other day. All our products are already out there. They just have different names on them. And they're not as good and they're a lot slower. We threw in the AI, everything AI. Guys, we're not talking about one thing in AI. We're talking about all added AI features. And I can't even name them all. There's so many. The algorithms, man, I think that's not, that's a good band name, I think. Those algorithms, ooh, it's a sexy word, you know. Ooh, hey, baby, let's get down with our algorithms or whatever that word is. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's things that are so powerful. We don't see them yet. We don't even feel them yet. We probably will never see them or feel them, but I know they're going to be there helping us out. But when a passive launches to the world, you are part, you are part of something that's AI, 100% AI. And we have a lot more bonuses than just the AI, the heart, the heart's a big thing. Don't ever forget that. So, all right, I'm talking way too much. I said I wouldn't. Let me say hi to a few people. I know M. Kelly was the first one on here today. She's back in the race. Dana's Energy, how are you doing? Dave's Rosleski, Kusha Pogu, how are you doing? Hey, guys, do me a favor. The big guy yelled at me the other day because he said, I'm not getting enough. I'm not advertising my YouTube. Uh, do me a favor. Ring the bell and subscribe to it. I'm not a YouTuber. I think I try to be. But if, if I always forget, can you please ring the bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel? Uh, that's going to help us all in the future. And if you have a YouTube, send it to me. I've added myself to many people's YouTubes. Uh, have no problem doing it. Let's get this out there. So, uh, Gina Levy, what's happening? Uh, Tanya Hunter, what's up, girl? What's this one? Odie, Sean, Karina Lance, how you doing? Uh, Gemma Ramke, if you're here, I know Lister's here. Sabias Jana, what's happening? My brother from India, um, Bagani, how you doing? Ying Yang's in the house, what's happening? Sandra Fletcher. <laughs> John White, nice video. John and uh, Bill made another video, guys. I shared it on my Facebook. Check that out. Make sure you subscribe to Bill's YouTube channel. Um, Bill Must, I know he's on here somewhere. Hi, Bill. Ken Patterson, holy cow. Ken from, Ken, it's got to be either early or late for you right now. But Ken Patterson from New Zealand, uh, part of the Aussie Girls. How you doing, brother? Uh ch -ch -ch -ch. Where's a funny name I'm not going to be able to pronounce? <laughs> uh, Nuaz, how you doing? Uh, Lori Lund, how you doing? Jane Helms, what's happening? Dana's Energy, I think I got you.
I don't see Julie Wynn on here again. Anybody else see Julie? Because that's two days in a row. She is fired, fired, fired. Elsie Patch, how you doing? All the important people are in the chat right now. Let's put it that way. <laughs> oh, now, uh, let's see. I got a miss pen. Ken, it's good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in a while. I know you guys are still... I know Ken, Yvonne, and Norell are doing really good things in uh, Australia and uh, New Zealand. They are kicking it out. Uh, they're doing it privately. They're, they're just keeping their zone because you know, we're 12 hours distance. So they have been doing their webinars privately, and they're doing really good. So I give you guys a lot of encouragement. Uh-oh, Tina Go just said something to me. Ah, she's giving me hearts. Uh, Amal, how you doing? <laughs> Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Yvonne Finn, how you doing? I'm trying to go fast, guys. I know you got things to do. If Marty wasn't so damn long, I said, I'm just kidding, Marty. Yeah, bonehead. I mean, I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna start going between 11, 30, and 12 before Marty, and then I don't have to bother with him. Uh, Gianna, what's happening? Let's take a vote. You guys want me to go before Marty or after Marty? Because I kind of stick with my guys and their plans. So, but he's been going on for an hour, and I, this man's got things to do. Um, who am I missing? All kind of people. Patty Parent, how you doing, Patricia? Uh, Nanette Weaver, what's happening? You're learning a lot from, you know, I try really. I, any one of us can do it. I just have a little more time in my hands because I'm retired, but I find it very interesting. I mean, I knew all about AI, but what I'm finding out now, and it's all in the internet to explore, punch in anything AI. AI is really part of everything. And I want to, you know, I, I don't want to be just a funny guy. I do. But I want to be funny and, and, and educate you on something. So it's pretty cool. So I'm going to be changing up my lives here and there. All right. I'm going to talk way too much. Lister T. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Lister T? I don't even know what you're laughing at. Uh, Virginia DeSanto, how you doing? Oh, before is okay. Okay, there's one vote. I'm going to have to tell Marty, hey, brother, because you want to talk for an hour. I, I know you're exciting and fun, but... Ooh, I got to get a haircut once in a while, you know. Oh, I did get a haircut. It's just I have a hat day today, but that's why I got the, the cowboy, my Australian hat on uh, with the teeth. Anyway, AI is here and passive is here. It's coming. Go watch the O-Tech guys tonight. O-Tech pros, excuse me. Uh, nine, it's at 9 o'clock. That's Lynn Nakamoto, Ron Hubert. Uh, don't forget the Singapore. That's tomorrow. I think it's at nighttime. I just got to check the back office, guys. My engineer Mike's got something going on September 10th. I know there's something in Florida, a meet and greet also. That's November. That's way a ways away. But it gives you a, night, a, plan, a little time to plan some trips there if you want. Just a lot of things happening. Haven't, don't know when Ash is coming out, and that's okay by me because he's working. Okay? If your back office gets a little glitchy, because he's working on it. He's changing many things. Those of you guys who can't see the back office like we see it, he's made quite a bit of changes in there, and we're adjusting to it. But it all works out perfect. Two a week, man. Pretty soon three a week, and then four a week, and then it's going to be seven days a week. Now what are you going to do? Nobody does this. I think it's cool. I really like it. Stephen Houghton, what's happened? Yes, the people factor is gone, or the human condition doesn't enter into it. It will be phenomenal. You're absolutely right. What up, Sean? Cyrus, how you doing? John Barilla, Steve Newell, popping in here. If you guys been in there before. Lisa McBride, how you doing? Bali who? Pushpin. Hey, Pushpin. You made it to mine. What's that's cool? Yes, go before Marty. Even Bill must said go before Marty. All right, I'll talk to uh, Marty about it. Do you really think I have to talk to Marty about it or should I just do it? Hmm. Because he don't watch my lives. Look at Hey, Marty. Eh. He don't even watch my life. Hey, this is what I want you to do. I want you guys to email or text Marty saying, how come you don't watch Chris's lives, Marty? He's always on there watching you. <laughs> Go ahead. Bug him a little bit. It'll keep him motivated. <laughs> He's going to kill me. All right. If you got a birthday today, happy birthday. If I miss your birthdays, I apologize, but I'm always thinking about you. Uh, throw out some prayers for anyone that's sick. I know... Um, right now, you know, the, the nobles, Robin's sister is dealing and I'm just going to say it. I don't care if she gets mad because I believe in prayer, 
Her sister deal with some blood clots, guys. Very serious. Very serious. I actually talked to Key Wendo a little bit this morning, and I was asking him about blood clots. And I know about him, but because Key's in the medical field, it helps out. Guys, lots of prayers for uh, Simone. And I say her name wrong all the time. Uh, Robin's sister, Simone Noble. They just lost their mom. Say a lot of prayers for her. They need it. They really do need it. Um, and she's as important as everybody. So there's Key on there right now. Uh, guys, let me tell you something. The love of a passive has grown immensely. Do we always get along? No, we don't. We argue. We fight like a normal family. It's okay. But know the one thing that we should all agree on, that when a passive comes, we get to help out a lot of people. We're going to forget these. You know how Marty says, take the shovel and dig a hole? Well, take that same shovel. I want you to go out and dig a big hole today. Because everything that you thought was negative or hurt you or those bills, that that house payment, the car payment that hurts you, that vicious cycle, I want you to throw all those in that deep hole that you're going to dig. And I want you to bury it and I want you to stomp on it and say bye-bye. So if you're going to bury anything, bury all the negativity in your life, which are bills, which are going to the job, which I couldn't couldn't get to my kids' function because of work, or I got stuck in traffic, ah, oh, going to work. I mean... Look at you see my frustrations. I got a big old hole. I got a big old hole that I dug and I keep throwing everything. Every day something new comes up. I got to go out and throw this in the hole. Why? Because a passive is going to not only make us forget about those things, we're going to have such a great life. I can't sit here and honestly tell you how great a life, but know this. If a passive just pays my bills, if it just pays my bills, which I don't have a lot anymore because I'm retired, but I know people out there have a lot. If it just pays your bills, how much better is your life going to be? I got to go. I'll leave you on that. I love every one of you. You guys have some new ideas you'd like me to talk about? I'm open to them. I'm pretty uh, pretty easy going. But I still like the topic of AI and what because it could be so much talking about. But if you have something new, send it to me. Uh, also, Bill and John, help them out. Give them ideas of something maybe you want to see in a video. Now, they're pretty good about making videos. They're, they're both creative, very creative minds. But I'm sure a little bit of uh, encouragement on something new might help them out. I don't know if John and Bill likes that, but I think I think they would like it. Bill's always asking me, Chris, give me something new. John, what are we going to do, Chris? You know, and it's hard to come up with things new. But if you stick a five or six hundred of us together, I know one of you got 10 good ideas that you can help us all out. So I got to go. I love you very much. I kept you on here for 27 minutes under my half hour. <clears throat> you learning something, Marty? <clears throat> Marty, you just got to say it. <laughs> Marty, you just got to keep it under a half hour. <laughs> all right. I'm just joking with him. He knows it. All right. I got to go. I love every one of you. Uh, tonight, don't forget, be on that webinar. I'm talking more about AI, which I love. And don't you forget. I've been talking about AI since Monday because we never talked about it. We explained certain things, but we never really talked about it. And guess what? Now we're going to talk about it. I got to go. Doma, what's happening? If I missed you, I'm sorry. I think I got everyone. Christina Dodds, how you doing? All right. Kenton, what's happening, buddy? You guys have a great day. Bye. It's Friday. It's Friday. AI is here. And passive is coming. We are all going to be successful. Smile. Why don't you get that grin off your face and go bury it. Go bury it in the hole in your backyard. Bye.